46 billion light years to get to the edge of the Earth to the observable universe. And you can really tell me there's nothing out there. Hi, I'm Yuga Suzuki, and I'm a student here at VCU. And since a little kid, I've always been interested in this topic. I'd be outside playing catch with my friends, kicking the ball around, look up in the sky, something, something up there. It's not a bird, it's not a plane. What is it? It's an alien. And then I'd be on my phone late night with my friends. We'd be talking. The connection disconnects. What is it? Aliens. And since then, I've been researching, and aliens go all the way back to 1440 BC in ancient Egypt. Ptolemy Papyrus in ancient Egypt came out with the first ever case sighting of aliens. He called them fiery disks soaring throughout the sky. And that was the first ever case sighting. To this day, there's been a total of 436 case sightings. And 2014 has been the busiest year with four in total. And this, 2015 found in Sydney, Australia. As you can see in the zoomed in picture, what is that? It looks very odd, oddly shaped. It was unidentified, don't know what it is. Could be aliens. <laughs> and then on the bottom one, this was found in Area 51 when two uh, stealth jets were making practice runs. And uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's really hard to see, but they were making stealth, uh, stealth jets making practice runs and everything was fine, but then they went back on film and they caught something right in between where you can see in the circle, a little dot, what is it? It was un unidentified aliens. <laughs> and then Area 51. Area 51 is a classified military base for uh, practicing spy planes, stealth bombers, just practice, making uh, practice runs, but that changed quickly. As in 1947, William Brazil, a farmer, found uh, metallic silvery rods in his yard. And with this, he called the cops, didn't know what it was, but then the military showed up with big trucks. They put it in the back of the truck and they just said, we're taking it to Area 51. And since then, Area 51 has became a little, a little place where they keep alien life. And then lastly, Buzz Aldrin, here on the bottom right of the screen, he was the first to come out and say that when up in space, he came across L-shaped figures which he chased, but it couldn't catch. And with this, he went under an advanced lie detector test, and he passed. And ever since then, uh, astronauts from Apollo 14 and 15 also came out with claims saying that they have also came across uh, sightings of aliens. And with this, there's so much evidence that comes with aliens that it's hard to, it's hard to not say that there's nothing out there. And I want you guys to keep your mind open on crazy and new ideas. And no matter how crazy something may sound, Putting a little bit of effort into researching it can help us find a whole new discovery that can change the world.